Afternoon, you guys. I cannot wait to get a cup of that. <laughs> Chills. Maki just came up from being in the basement. Oh. And you got cobwebs on your whiskers. What are you getting into down there, huh? <laughs> i to throw this out. Mm. Good news, you guys. Happy to report. The snow has basically melted completely. Got a nice bird's eye view from up here. I was also noticing that it doesn't look as muddy. Like it's not as like wet mud right outside the steps. When can you start putting in the stone? Because we want to put a path like right out through here towards the gate. And can you do it when it's muddy or just when the ground is a little soft? Does anybody know about that? <laughs> Steph told me because we have the new pans, not allowed to use any metal ever on them, including to flip bacon. So we're trying a new method. Do you want to eat this in here or you want to... Downstairs. I was going to eat it downstairs, but it's right here. How's that look? Looks really good. I love new pans. They make perfectly cooked eggs. Is it okay if I take them in the studio? Yeah. Check us out. So there's some painting done last night. This one here is probably my favorite. I don't think it has a name yet, though. I need to dry. I'm gonna run and mail those letters that we forgot to mail yesterday. Where are they? In my purse. This person here? No, it's downstairs. Okay. Wow, you guys, it is super warm today. I'm forcing myself to step out of the house and go for a little walk. I'm mailing these. But I've noticed that some of you have noticed that I don't do nearly as much walking or we don't as we once did in Korea and I've given it a lot of thinking first of all you're right we're definitely doing more driving I think probably the biggest difference in the reason why is because here there's just more to do and once I stopped teaching I was just sort of living and daily vlogging and supporting stuff with their grad work. Besides editing and shooting videos and stuff, there wasn't much to do in Korea. So I took advantage of walking, not just like to Suwon Station, but like around Hwasong Fortress. Now that I'm out here, it feels really good. <laughs> I gotta do this more often. So this is interesting, I came to where I'm 100% positive there used to be a mailbox right here. And it is not here anymore. So now I don't know where I'm gonna mail these. <laughs> I'm not sure which direction I should go. Essentially, I haven't walked very far, and I just came upon some brand new homes a block and a half from our house. Look at these. This is a new street, too. 
I'm gonna have to come take another walk down here because I'm pretty sure there's not a mailbox there. <laughs> Sort of given up on looking to mail these right now <laughs> but i want to show you this the u of our campus is right over the river here and there's a pedestrian bridge i want to take you up on crossing the pedestrian bridge now and making observations since i haven't walked up here yet the house that we live in now, I purchased in 2003, and I used to run over this bridge because I lived in the house for five years. But what's interesting about it is there's a lot of traffic today. But that's because there's lots of student housing on this side of the river. And none of it was built in 2003, even though the University of Rochester was right here. there's lots of people crossing the bridge and it makes me happy because there's pedestrian traffic in an area that never used to have any. Art gallery. I think I have to bring stuff over here. So many people on campus they just most of them seem so busy with their life that they can't even take five minutes to stop in there not that they need to but I thought it was nice it was mostly freshman art made it back from the walk how you doing I'm doing okay yeah we're gonna actually uh, try to put the tube on and do the fixing the cord issue like we saw uh, your brother-in-law do in Pennsylvania. probably unplug this first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go for that. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of filming, we should have two hands on this. Can you put the camera down for a second? Yep. Just missed it, but right there where the blue dish is, there was a squirrel looking up this way, right at Maki. They were looking at each other. There was sort of a standoff. I don't know where the squirrel went, though. But it was really close. I could see it, like... Eyeing right up because I was sitting right here, so the whole thing was like. Whoosh. You guys check out how cute my wife looks in slippers that don't fit her. Hey, little mama. Yours. Hi. 
You're doing okay. Missing on dinner. And we got some food action going. This looks good. Some of the sauce on top of it. Yeah, and then we got this all cooked up. Bon appetit! Oh, I'm hungry for this. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. It'll be tasty, I promise. Hey, little mama. Hi. You're looking comfy. How do you like my improv obi? I have to. Love, I have to leave my actual obi in Korea. What's an obi? <laughs> I thought we were gonna crawl in bed and watch something. I'm wait. I'm already here. Look, see. Do you have it? We have video now? proof. I'm already in bed. Well, that was easy. Getting in with your wine, nice. Dude, hey, I just took the trash out and started loading clothes, <laughs> so I'm allowed to have my glass of wine. <laughs> she said, "Dude, I just took the trash out." This buff for the trash be taken out. Booyah! We've been chilling in the bed watching a little YouTube. Steph finished her glass of wine. My wine is done. I'm starting to nod off myself. So. It's time to call it a night. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to. Just bump that like button and thanks for watching, you guys. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye. Leaving Reebok. We drove out about 40 miles from where we live to come here, which might seem a little bit foolish until you hear the prices we just paid.